Welcome to a new video where I want to talk about Ubuntu Touch on the Volophone and what applications I'm running on this device. First of all, let's go to the uh, settings here. I show you that I have the latest and greatest version of uh, Ubuntu Touch running here. Uh, if I go to updates, you can see that I got an update today, which is uh, Ubuntu Touch version 12. I'm not sure which it is following here. It is not OTA 12, I hope. At least uh, when I go into uh, the about window and in the OS release, you can see that this is uh, the image from the 7th of um, April 2021. So this should be the newest version already. What I noticed with this version is that everything is running very smoothly here, which is pretty nice. So let's get started with the applications. Let's go in here and I'll show you one by one, step by step, what applications I'm using. First of all, I have Crunchyroll, which is just a web link. It will open up uh, as a separate web application. It has some uh, basic functionality uh, going to the home page and uh, looking at some other things here it might be not the fastest right now i noticed with several web apps so if i don't have uh, if i don't want to use it i can of course use always the morph browser which is a lot more faster uh, i have deco 2 as an email client i'm not sure if i have some email address set up here but you have the option to set up uh, imap and pop free I have some emails here apparently this is uh, my web de email account and yeah it's working fine as you can see here then the next thing that i have is a document viewer i think it came uh, with it because it got updated as well it allows you to view some documents so in this case i don't have any documents and i have an epub viewer it's an ebook reader which allows me to read some ebooks if i have some ebooks in here i can open up a book and uh, choose one of those file manager or morph browser or other document uh, viewing applications as source i have the gallery the gallery is a bit finicky but i still like to use it one thing i can show you is if i go to settings and want to set up a background it's a bit of um it took me a while to figure it out first of all you have to go to the customs usually you have this ubuntu art here ubuntu art and then you can go to customs and I played a little bit already. If I click on add image, it allows me to choose which application I want to add an image. I choose gallery. And when I'm here in my gallery and I want to choose, uh, let's say this uh, image, I can select here, I have this little uh, hook here that I can select. And then now it's selected, but there's no other notification, just that this changes to an X here. And if I go back, you can see, oh, it is selected. Okay, now I have another here that I have to click and then it is selected and it's transferring it over and then I have the option to set up the image the way I want. Uh, nothing much here I can set up, sadly. But then I can set it up uh, as a background image. So this took me a while. So if you have some issues, similar issues, you know how to do it. I have Farplan here as my main application for public transport. So I'm using the Bande backend for it and I can select where to go from and to works pretty nicely. And it's a very nice application in my opinion. The only thing that's missing is like the option to pay for tickets. Uh, File manager is by default there. Google Mail is just a web link to the you know, Gmail account. Instant Foe, which is... Um, I first of all, it's Instagram client. No, it's an image editing application, which allows you to, again, use this option to select an image that you want to edit. And let's select this image, for example, hit OK. It is transferring now, and I have now the option to cut out the image one by one, uh, three by two, uh, different aspect ratio, uh, 16 by nine, uh, or keep it original. I want to keep it original. I click on Next. And then here's where I have an issue. Also with focusing apparently, <laughs> I have an issue because now this uh, doesn't, it allows me to set effects here, but I don't see the, the effect by itself. So if you know a tr trick on how to get this working, just tell me because uh, I thought I have a nice editor here at hand, but it's not working. 
media player, video playing is the default one, messaging and morph browser is the default web browser, a very good web browser in my opinion. And with the newest update, it even got a quicker and faster Just browsing here on uh, Wallhaven, for example, where I downloaded this uh, image here, it works pretty nicely. So morph browser, I can recommend. Music applications is the default, never put, it's a little game, also a bit faster than it was before. I think they improved some OpenGL stuff. So if I play here a little bit, let's try to get a hole in one. Ah, it was a bit too much, but you get the idea. So this is working. You can close this up to not slow down the, app, uh, the, the, the launcher so much. Uh, Notes application things in the default one. Open store is also Podbird is the podcasting client that I like to use. And here, by the way, shout out to the uh, Radio Tux podcast if you are in uh, Germany and like to listen to Linux uh, news and podcasts, uh, just take a look at Radio Tux podcast. Otherwise, I'm using uh, Quick Conversions, which is a nice application if, uh, yeah, I'm in settings for some reason here. How do I get back here? Ah, yeah, now I'm back. Uh, someone tells me pounds and I have to just calculate it in, in sane values like kilograms. I can do this here or I have the option to change it to temperature. So if someone's talking about 90 degree or 80 degree Fahrenheit. I know how much it is in, in uh, sane values. So this is uh, possible here as well. Then I have uh, QuickDate, which is a Reddit client. It's also pretty fast and quick and fluid. We have the various different categories here. You have the option to, of course, configure stuff, go to your subreddits and log in even. You can click on articles, it will load those articles and it's pretty fast as well. Uh, scrolling through various different uh, news here on a Reddit without any big issues. A recording app for recording your own sound, sensor app if you want to check some sensors out on your device itself, like the accelerometer compass, uh, GPS, and so on. You have the option to do so. Then I have a simple piano, so to play a little bit of music. And you can even change it. So this is also possible, a nice little application. And uh, we have uh, Tagger. Tagger is uh, the option to, to tag um, uh, read uh, QR code. So I have a QR code here and I can have Tagger read it. There we go. And now it found it. It's a Wikipedia article in this case. The cool thing about Tagger is that you have also the option to generate a new QR code with your own uh, web address if you like to do so. So this is also pretty handy. Then we have Teleports as a Telegram client. Terminal, of course, Tax Racer, which allows you to play a little game. This is also very f fast. I think one of the first games that I ever played on Linux and it's available here as well. So accelerate a little bit. It's using the accelerometer for acceleration and for control. So if I go like this, it will slow down a bit. And yeah, it's working fine as you can see here. So this is uh, this app. And now let's close this down and there's Twitter. Of course, you have the option to, to reach Twitter, which is a web app, a simple web app here. In this case, it's loading the Twitter mobile website. I have UbiPorts, which is uh, the community app. You uh, Mastodonauts, which is a Mastodon client, which uh, will load now my Mastodon social. Uh, also using the website, but yeah, it's quite handy if you want to take care of your social media stuff. So here you have some uh, things that you can choose from, just like uh, the Mastodon client should be. Then I have UNAV. I know there's um, a Pure Maps, I think, available. Pure Maps available as well, but I'm using UNAV just for testing purposes because it's easier and I don't have to download so much things. So if I click on UNAV here, come on. It's starting up. It is pretty accurate. I used it once for, uh, twice for uh, location services and uh, I'm Cologne here and you can see, yeah, it is working fine. You can search for places. Uh, as you can see here, Cathedral Cologne, for example, this is what I searched for before. And you have some uh, points of interest, favorites and so on. Cologne Cathedral here, it's showing this up. And as you can see here, yeah, I can now say navigate to it. It's waiting for a GPS signal to find, my, find me 
and then it would allow you to uh, do navigation. So this is working fine. There's Valgri. Valgri is an application for downloading YouTube videos. For example, you just go to the YouTube website, just paste the URL in here, click on download, and it's working fine. And uh, uh, weather application, I think I just installed this as well, or it came pre-installed. It's a nice weather application that tells you about the weather. You can see brr, it's a bit cold. And uh, then we have the Wi-Fi scanning application, which uh, scans for Wi-Fi here and uh, yeah, tells you about your Wi-Fi. And this is also very good for setting up Wi-Fi wi networks in 2.4 gigahertz if you have crowded space. And then a new YouTube application that I found on, open, uh, on the uh, open store here, which is also a simple web app, but use this YouTube application because it's very fast in comparison to the older one, which was a bit... Uh, yeah, a bit slow. So if I click on this Scatman video, for example, you can see if I uh, swap around here, of course it has some advertisement, but uh, you can see that it's running fluid. It is changing fluidly uh, in between uh, landscape and portrait mode. So this is the app to use. And of course we can swipe here and close applications. Don't want to show you this. I just want to close stuff up. And yeah, you can see you want to touch is working quite nicely after a few updates. It's still a little bit finicky. I don't like the, the way to use your user interface. There's no close all button for closing all applications, for example. And if I'm in an application, I don't have any chance to close up anything here. <laughs> so I have to go into this view and then swipe up. I don't like it, but uh, yeah, uh, still still don't like it. This is the only way to see my wallpaper then in action. So that's everything, the run through of my application that I like to use. What are your applications that you like to use on the Ubuntu Touch platform? And just write it down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye.